Hi, welcome to Big Ted's Home and Garden. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to test the fuses in your car. The car fuse works on the same principle as a plug fuse. It's two connectors with a thin wire between them, which is designed to burn out and break the circuit if the current is too high. In a car fuse, the connectors are two exposed metal blades, which are connected by a thin wire between them within the plastic housing. For the fuse to work, this thin fuse wire has to be intact for the current to flow from one blade to the other. An important feature of car fuses is that the blades continue through to the top of the fuse. You can see the two exposed pins here. This will save us a lot of time later. If you suspect a fuse is blown, for example your cigarette lighter stopped working, the first thing you need to do is find the fuse board. In a lot of cars like this Fiesta or this Toyota Yaris, the fuse board is behind the glove compartment. You simply push the sides of the glove compartment in and it should pull out. This is the fuse board in the Fiesta. Not all fuses are behind the glove compartment though. In this Audi A4, the fuse board is behind this end panel in the dashboard. So Google it and make sure you know where the fuse board is before you start pulling the car to bits. This panel's just held in place by three clips so it's easy to prise off. And if I pull it away, you'll be able to see the fuses underneath. The next job is to identify which fuse you actually need to test. Unless you want to test every single one. To do this you'll need a fuse board diagram. These are generally easily found on Google. This is the one for the Fiesta. And the key tells you the size of the fuse and the components it protects. If you want to remove a fuse for testing, the best way to do it is with a pair of long nose pliers. But I'll show you in a minute how you can test the fuse without actually removing it. If you've got an automatic multimeter like this Tesman meter, testing is really simple. You don't need to know how to use a multimeter, you simply connect one probe to one blade and the other to the other, and the meter selects the right mode. The green light and the alarm means we've got continuity and this fuse is okay. To do the same test with a standard multimeter, you need to select the lowest ohmmeter setting. So look for the Amiga symbol. The diode setting next so it will do the same job. And if you touch the two probes together, the value should drop from one, which means it's open circuit, down to a very low value. This indicates the circuit's complete and there's very little resistance. If you then touch the two probes onto the two blades of the fuse, the meter reading should drop down to this value if the fuse is good. I showed you earlier that the top of the blades are exposed on the top of the fuse. This means that you can also test the fuse by connecting the probes to the top of the blades through the top of the fuse. This means that you don't have to remove the fuses to test them, you can actually do it in situ. It's much quicker and easier. And of course you can do the same test using the standard multimeter. These fuses are all okay, but if you've got a failed fuse, you'd get a reading of one showing that it's open circuit. You can then pull that fuse out with long nose pliers and replace it with a new one. So I hope you found this useful. I'll leave Amazon links to both types of multimeter in the video description below. If you've got any questions or suggestions, leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. I'll see you soon.